Today we're going over five soccer fashion faux pas that you've been committing. Not only are we going to identify what crimes you've been making, we're going to tell you how to rectify them so you can go from dud to stud. Let's go baby. The first fashion faux pas that you are committing is clashing. You're looking like a bag of Skittles, my man. Forest green, baby blue, a screaming red. What is this? What do you mean? This is a Nike shirt. If you want any sort of respect on the soccer pitch, stick to the basics. Navy blue, white, black, and make it look good. Remember your mother's advice when you were in eighth grade when you didn't know what to wear? Make it match, my friend. Here's a perfect example. Failure to do so could easily result in a scenario just like this. Hmm. Yeah, let me get you. Hey, Johnny. Yeah, I want you. No, uh, I'm over here. Uh, I'm right here. Uh, yeah, let me get. <laughs> let me get that blade of grass. Yeah, I'll take you on my team. Uh, uh, nah. and, yeah, give me the goose turd. Sorry, man, we're, we're full of players. The second fashion faux pas that you are committing is looking like an eight-year-old boy in your father's clothes. He looks like he's swimming in this outfit. Short, make him look dumpy. Look at these sleeves. Look at that isosceles triangle. I can fit my entire head in here. As a wear device, stick to schmediums, to, to fitted, slim fit looking clothes. Makes you look more athletic. And avoid looking like this schmuck. Little word of wisdom for you kids watching at home. You step out on the pitch looking like this, legend has it that not only will you look like an absolute clown, but the keeper is gonna save your shot every single time. For instance, observe. Mane, big moment in the match, this. And uh, De Gea makes sure. What happened? I'm wearing my Nike Predators. I don't understand. Right Henderson. Jordan Henderson lines it up. Oh! Strikes the frame of the goal with a lot more force than Salah did a few moments ago. Rule three. Leave the rec league shin guards at home, if you will. Again, it screams eight-year-old boy. <laughs> with this heel strap around it. Uh, takes me back to the early thousands when I was a young lad. But uh, opt for something a little bit more sleek and modern like this. Not to mention the bulkiness inhibits your touch. Exhibit A. Well, what's your assessment of the match today, Bill? Great game, except for Jamie. Jamie Vardy? Prem? Oh, Jimmy Ted's son. He was crying because I forgot the Capri Sun during halftime. Yikes. Yeah, it'll make up for it. We'll head to Chick-fil-A after the game. All right, man, uh, I'm going to go for a run. Got my new uh, got my new ghost sneakers. Hey, watch the Achilles. You don't want any tendonitis kicking in, right? Oh, don't <laughs> worry. These bad boys have plenty of support. Hashtag plantar fasciitis. <laughs> Am I right? We've learned a lot today about fashion faux pas and how to dress fresh to death. But what this video hasn't told you yet is that even if you do everything right, check all the boxes, fresh jersey, matching shorts, don't look like a unicorn, you can still corrupt your outfit with one fatal flaw, the dad shoe. While these kicks might provide plenty of support and prevent lots of plantar fasciitis, they'll do nothing for you on a pitch, kids. Remember that. <laughs> Please enjoy some screaming volleys in our self-proclaimed dad shoes. Missed okay. it across. Who can hit them from here? Oh, how can he? Four added minutes. And Gerard! Oh! Nobody occupied until Neves arrived and forces the save. Well, we all know what Neves can do from range, and Schmeichel had to be on his metal then. Seriously, dude, true socks. What is this? Prem? 
You're one to talk, dude. How do you explain those snowboarding gloves? Whatever, man. You have no idea what sort of grip I get with these bad boys. Do you even understand how the beautiful game works? You're not using your... Oh, an arm sleeve, man? Same theme. You're a field player. I know you didn't just throw shade on my Kobe tribute. Now just a little bit of a bold look for a center defensive mid. And uh, what about down south? What is this? Dude, this is a compression sleeve. I'm rehabbing a quad injury, okay? Oh yeah, makes sense. Uh, I'll see you out there, Bane. Don't wait up. Whatever, dude. Eat my dust.